running time. What do you think the running time of this algorithm is? It's linear time, just like the FS. This is what we call linear time, because this is the size of the input. It's, it's theta v plus e for the whole thing. Um, the size of the input was v plus e. We needed v slots in an array, plus we needed e items in these linked lists, one for each edge. We have to traverse that whole structure. The reason it's order v plus e is, well, first, as you were saying, you're visiting every vertex once in this outer loop. So uh, not, thinking, not worrying about the recursion. in DFS alone. So that's order v. Then we, do, we have to worry about this recursion. But we know that whenever we call DFS visit on, an, on a vertex, that it did not have a parent before. Right? right before we call DFS visit, we set its parent for the first time. Right before we call DFS visit on v here, we set its parent for the first time, because it wasn't set before. So uh, DFS visit. I'm going to just write of v, meaning the, the last argument here. It's called uh, once, at most once, per vertex v. Okay, but it does not take constant time. This takes constant time per vertex plus a recursive call. This thing. Uh, this takes constant time, but there's a for loop here. We have to pay for however many outgoing edges there are from v. That's the part you're missing. Uh, so, and we pay length of adjacency v for that vertex. So the total, in addition to this v, is going to be uh, order sum over all vertices, v in capital V, of length of the adjacency list for v, which is e. This is the handshaking lemma from last time. It's twice e for undirected graphs. It's e for directed graphs. I've drawn directed graphs here. It's a little more interesting. <laughs> 